Hi there and welcome to another 3ds Max tutorial. So in this video we're going to talk about the slice modifier. So let's get started by selecting our object and going up to the modifier list which is on the second tab here. Drop that down. Scroll down to where it's uh, where the S's are and select slice. Okay, so from here we can go into sub-object mode by pressing 1 on the keyboard. So if you press 1, you'll notice here on the, on the stack we've gone inside to the slice plane, and this is the slice plane here. Now this can be um, rotated, scaled, and moved. So let's just move it, and you'll notice it's, been, it's slicing the object as I move it. So I'm moving it in the Z direction at the moment. If you move it in the other two directions, it doesn't really matter. The slice still stays there. You can also scale it in R on the keyboard, but that doesn't matter either. So all that really matters if you use it, if you're going in a vertical plane, is the z-axis. Okay. All this does is it creates a slice. So we can also go and split the mesh, which actually splits splits the mesh in two. So let's uh, put an edit poly modifier on top and go to element. You'll notice that it's split it in two pieces. So let's just undo that. Come back to the slice plane. Okay, we can also remove the top and we can remove the bottom. So for example, if we remove the top and then put a cap holes modifier on it, so which is here, we can go to modifier and cap holes, which is there. You'll notice it caps it off at the top. Let's go back, let's delete that. You can also rotate it, rotate it. so if you wanted different, uh, a different type of slice, you can rotate. Do this in removing the bottom, removing the top, splitting the mesh, and just adding a slice by refining the mesh. So what we can also do is we can go sub-object on the object that we're working on and add the slice modifier to that. So for example, if you wanted to go into polygon mode and you wanted to select a few faces, and all you wanted to do was create a cut, I don't know, here or here. You could do that by adding the slice modifier, which I've got on my stack here, look. And we could do exactly the same, hit one on the keyboard or go sub-object on there. And we can move it up and down and we can rotate it. We can also, we can also copy and paste it. So hit right click and copy and then right click and paste, go sub-object again onto the slice modifier here and we can move that one as well and we can repeat that over and over so we can just keep pasting it if you wanted let's say four of the same actions you can just go sub the object and move them each time there are many possibilities with the slice modifier and I wish you the best of luck thanks for watching cheers